These instructions will show you how to transfer your service from one Straight Talk phone to a new Straight Talk phone using a SIM card. This tutorial is specific to the Samsung Galaxy S3, but these first steps may be generalized for any Straight Talk phone. First, go to the Straight Talk website and click on Activate slash Reactivate, then Transfer Number. Here I'm going to select Transfer My Number and Service from one Straight Talk phone to another. Of course, you can always activate a phone with a new number or activate Straight Talk phone with a number transferred from another company. When you've selected the desired option, click Continue. You will have to log into your account. I already had an existing account. Here you will need to enter the new phone serial number, slash M-E-I-D-D-E-C. OK. In this case, with the micro SIM card for the Galaxy S3, that means entering the number on the red card that came with the SIM card. Optionally, you can enter a nickname for the phone. The Straight Talk website will display the following confirmation page. We will cover entering these settings into the Samsung Galaxy S3. Okay, so this is sort of the second part of this guide. Uh, after you've done whatever you need to do with your phone and your SIM card number on the website, you go ahead and, and open the back panel on the phone here. And what I'm doing is I'm transferring my number from one straight talk phone to the other. A previous line that I already had. So it's not coming in from Verizon or any other outside provider. And then the micro SIM slot, we will go ahead and put in the Straight Talk provided SIM. So here's your Straight Talk provided SIM card right here. We'll go ahead and pop that out. And there we have it. Okay, so we've got the SIM card here. You've got to make sure it goes in and it actually locks in. You can hear the click. Uh, make sure your SIM card is locked in. And we'll go ahead and put on the in the battery. And we'll turn on the phone. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and make a test call here. Okay. Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. Yeah. Um, okay. And of course, the activation process appears to have taken place successfully. So, once you have that going, you can go ahead and um, the next part of this video will be about getting data activated. Okay, so to set up the data, what you want to do is go into settings, and we're going to go into more settings up towards the top, and mobile networks, and you want to go into access point names, and I just changed the default access point here, and straight talk for the name att.mvno proxy.mvno.trackphone.com port 80 no username no password no server mmsc server mmsc.singular.com and the proxy is that ip address there mms ports 80 i left mcc and ncc alone and all the all the other stuff i left alone there so once once i did that then i'm able to get on the internet that should have done it. Yeah, it's working. We've got the H plus up here for HSPA plus up at the top of the screen. You can see it. Or 3G in uh, other terms. MC Beatbox for the win.